Hi friends, I am Sai Tech and welcome back to my channel Sai Tech. In today's video, I'll try to talk about the touch sampling rate uh, issue which is going on in the OnePlus Nord 2 device. Yes, friends, the OnePlus Nord 2 has got a uh, 180 hertz touch sampling rate. Yes, absolutely 180 hertz. I'll try to show you the couple of uh, proofs as well how it is 180 hertz. But by default, it is only enabled with the 120 hertz touch sampling rate. That's the one thing you should definitely remember. So if you try to message the OnePlus uh, support team in the Twitter, they'll definitely reply you in this way. So the OnePlus Nord 2 will be supporting with the 180 hertz touch sampling rate but by default 120 hertz start sampling rate will be selected that is the reason we are saying only 120 hertz start sampling rate in the oneplus not 2 so you may think it's a normal issue which is going on it's the same with the other oneplus phones as well but that's not for example let's take the oneplus not ce the oneplus not ce when i started to use the phone the oneplus not ce has got 264 and 270 i'm getting touch sampling rate so that means 270 minus 90 hertz refresh rate so one 80 years start sampling rate in the oneplus not 2 yes this is a video which i uploaded i think a couple of um, months back i think one month back maybe when i got the oneplus not ce i am trying to do the epic comparison then i try to do this kind of testing as you can see oneplus not ce this is a device which i'm trying to use exactly so oneplus not ce by default it is enabled with a 180 hertz start sampling rate so you should not be worried but for this oneplus not 2 by default it is set to the 120 hertz start sampling rate only so i'm not sure how to enable the 180 hertz because even if i add this application into the games but still it's not working at all so it's not i'm not getting that kind of 270 kind of score which we did see in the oneplus not ce i'm not getting no way so and there's another proofs as well when the poco f3 gt got launch event you can see they did compare with other flagship mobile phones in this kind of price range and they did also mention uh, oneplus not 2 with a 180 hertz start sampling rate as you can see while comparing with though with the poco f3 gt in the poco f3 uh, gt live streaming at that time i did take the screenshot like this as you can see couple of users also they did mention me as well as you can see 180 hertz start sampling rate so all the OnePlus Nord 2 has got the 180 hertz touch sampling rate, but by default it is set only to 120 hertz uh, touch sampling rate. I'm not sure why. So 180 hertz is only the less for this kind of price range for the 30,000. And on the top of that, they did set to the 120 hertz touch sampling rate in this OnePlus Nord 2. I don't know what is the purpose of setting to the 120 hertz uh, and not utilizing the full potential. And if you're paying 30,000 rupees for this phone, and in this kind of price range, within below this price range, also we are seeing 480 hertz, 360 hertz touch sampling rate, and 240 hertz as well. But 180 hertz is quite uh, disappointing, I would say. So another thing is about the Amazon Prime HD also. Amazon Prime HD still it's not working in the OnePlus Nord 2. So I thought of just addressing you the issue regarding the touch sampling rate because i'm getting plenty of comments on the touch sampling rate what is the actual touch sampling rate is, a, is something wrong with the application or what so there's nothing wrong with the application so application is working 100 percent correct but the oneplus they did def default select the 120 hertz touch sampling rate in the oneplus not 2 device so that's it friends thank you for watching and i th just thought of informing you all what is going on with the touch sampling rate and let me know in the comment section below will it matter for you a lot or not so for the price 30,000 rupees what i'm paying it matters for me so for the price, I'm trying to say, if you're paying 30,000 rupees, you should be having all the things maxed out. Doesn't matter. You may use or may not use, but you should have the all things maxed out as a future proof option. That's what uh, I meant for the price range. If the price is close to 20,000, I would not uh, even make a video on that particular topic, but 30,000. Even 20,000 range mobile phones also we are getting 240 hertz start sampling rate by default. They're not doing this kind of uh, thing, giving the 180 hertz and doing the default uh, 120 hertz. That's it friends, thank you for watching and see in the next video friends, and then stay tuned for more updates. Meanwhile, in case if you have any other queries regarding this phone, let me know in the comment section below. Meanwhile, signing off. Bye.